everybody. I'm Carla, the Crazy Cross Stitch Lady. Welcome to my laundry room. Um, today, I'm going to do a short tutorial on how to get those really stubborn creases out of your fabric. I have been very frustrated with getting creases out, and this has been forever. And sometimes as you're stitching, they kind of, and you're, you know, you're using the fabric, some of them do start to work their way out a little bit, and it doesn't matter. But, this is a big but, um, we really want our fabric to be prepared for when we stitch, and we want to get most of those stitches, or creases out. So, uh, I have looked at, I don't know how many tutorials, and people saying different things, you know, using vinegar, or, you know, make sure you use a pressing cloth, or do this and that. So, I want to show you one that I listened to, and then I tried it, and I thought this is the simplest way. Plus, we're going to take a look at over-dyed fabric, too, because that becomes a concern. It's, and Ada is the most stubborn. So, um, you know, sometimes you can't get every tiny little bit out uh, and people want to show you, hey, I got it all out. Well, you know, most of them probably actually did not. They probably have just a faint little bit left. But as you're stitching with it and working with the fabric, that's not going to matter. It's going gonna, it's gonna to come out as you're working with it and stitching with it. But um, just um, wanted to give you this tutorial to help you and, and give you a better idea of some things that you can do to get your creases out. And um, with even weaving linen, it's even easier. So hopefully this will help ease your frustration a little bit. And I even show you on some of my over dives so you can see how that works out as well. So I hope you all have a wonderful day. Um, I hope you are creative and blessed and I will see you later. Now on to the tutorial. All right, hi. So I am here in my laundry room and um, I'm gonna show you how to get these really stubborn creases out of your fabric. I have tried a lot of different things. I have watched other tutorials and they talk about, you know, using a pressing cloth and spraying with vinegar and, you know, all of this stuff. And uh, the toughest I would say to get out is Ada. So here's a piece of, this is just like a little piece of Ada fabric that I had left over. And you can see the crease that's here. And this is where the manufacturer had folded the cloth. And there's still a crease here. Now, sometimes you just, you can't get every like vestige of it out. But um, if you still have even like a little faint one, a little faint crease, that that's still okay because as you're stitching with it and the Ada gets a little bit softer, it's gonna work its way out. It's gonna be inconsequential. So what I did is I, I had this other bottle here. I've just, I filled it with water um, and I'll just, you know, I'll write the word water on here so we know it's water, but this is just, it's simple water. That's all it is. And so you just wanna spray right on the crease. You don't really have to soak it, but but mm -hmm. I like to get it fairly wet. So um, I've got this set on cotton setting and I'm putting some pressure on it. Not a ton of pressure, but some. And I'm having to do this one-handed so I can't really hold my ironing board here. So I'm just moving over it, keeping it moving, letting the fabric dry, letting the steam dry it. I'm just gonna keep it moving. Just do it for a little bit. And then I'm just gonna check it. And if I hold it up, I think that's pretty good. I mean, it's just like, it's barely there. So I'm gonna, I, I like to flip it over too and just iron the other side. And you know, you can spray that too because of the creases on that side too. So maybe I just want to spray this just to help it along a little bit because Ada is stubborn. If you've tried to iron Ada, which if you've been stitching any amount of time, you most certainly have to get it ready for stitching and then you're trying to get that ironed out, it is stubborn. So, you know, just going over it. 
And even some people said, well, don't keep moving, just press it. And if you wanna press it, you can hold it for about five seconds, not bear down super hard, um, but hold it for a few seconds. You can hear the steam coming, there we go. And then iron back over it. Sometimes that helps too. Okay, so let me take a look. Looks like that one's come out pretty well. So and I can go back and do the same with this, just hold it, pick it up and hold it, press it for about five seconds, right along the crease, and then just go back through and iron, and that should get your crease out. And you can see there's, now I haven't gone over all this one, but this, this is a faint one, okay? So, I want to try to work on this a little bit more. And I may move over it a little bit and then I might just press and hold for a few seconds. Press and hold it. And then iron back over it. And there you go. everything scooting around. It's a little hard to do it one-handed. Uh, I've got a tripod, but it doesn't like fit on this counters very well. So, and you know, you, it's not for Ada, it may not be perfect, but you'll definitely, this, this to me would be satisfactory for me to start stitching on. It's, it's smooth enough. Okay. So there's Ada. Okay. So now what would I find easier is when you get this is um, Lugana. It's it's even weave and um, linen would be the same. And if you've got um, over dyed fabric and you're really concerned about the color bleeding, you may want to try it on a small corner first. You may want to put a pressing cloth over it um, and try it that way. Um, so I would try it on a little corner, but you know you should be able to spray that too. And in fact, we're gonna try it out after this one. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get some over dyed fabric and we're gonna try it out because I haven't tried it out, so I'm gonna experiment right in front of you. Okay, so I'm just gonna spray that. But again, this is a lot easier. It's a lot easier to get these wrinkles out on even weave and linen. So you want to press. I don't do more than maybe five seconds at a time because I, I, I don't want to risk burning a hole in it or anything. Let's see, there you go. I mean, it, it's, it's beautiful right there. No wrinkle, no wrinkle at all. That was very easy to get out. So let me go get some over dyed and I will risk my over dyed so you don't have to. So we'll give it a try. All right, I'm back. And I have a piece from, and this is from Dive to Perfection. And I would like to stitch on this at some point, but um, I, it's a smaller piece, so I thought I would use it to experiment. This is a company where they say, because of their over dyeing process, you can tell this is over dyed and it's opalescent. So um, it's very wrinkled all over and it's got these creases. So, she specifically said, you know, do not use a steam setting on the fabric, do not. Well, I just tried a little bit here and I put this on a white, this is just a, it's a pillowcase, just to see if it would bleed. And I am spraying water on this. So I'm gonna try this crease right here. You can, you can see it it's right there, there's the crease. And I'm gonna spray water on it. All right, where all that red and blue is. And I'm gonna iron, keep my iron moving. Okay, and I'm just gonna hold it for a few seconds. Put a little bit of pressure on it. Not trying to dig a hole, but you're just putting a little bit of pressure on it. And then run the iron back over it. Okay, 
Now, okay, I don't have anything that came off on my iron. And what do you think? Looks like there's nothing on the pillowcase. And this is smooth. Okay, let's look close where the, okay, so the other crease started like right there. So here's, here's where it should be. That's smooth. So I can even turn it over on this other side. Let me see where the crease was here. It's smooth. So I'm gonna hold it up to the light that tells me. So if you look, if you look closely, you can see, see what I call a vestige of it, just a, a little bit of the crease. So with all these, all this busyness of the colors going on, you're really not going to see it. But, you know, if you're not happy with it, you can obviously, you know, we can spray it again. And then we can try it. Just iron again. And, you know, somebody was like, I just ironed the heck out of my fabric and it's still not coming out. But I'm just using water and then pressing that one of the keys is pressing for a few seconds, lifting up and pressing, which a lot of people don't think to do. I didn't think to do it for a long time. I, I would not do that. And then you can iron back over it again. Now I'm, I'm doing this with, I, I usually, I will hold the other end of the board and it gives me a little more leverage for my, but I'm, I'm having, it's a little awkward holding the camera like this, but I'm still getting the job done. Again, I don't see anything on here. And let's see, there might be, let's see, with the shadow of that tiny little bit right there. It looks like it came off the fabric, but that's it. And this is an old, old um, I use it kind of as a pressing cloth too, so it doesn't matter, but that's it. That little bit came off. And, and this is, this is, it wasn't dry. It's a little bit wet from something else I was doing. So if it had been dry, it might've been fine. But see, I've turned it over and put the wet side on the other side. And so now I've ironed this part. So does it look like there's been some damage done to it? Looks okay to me. Doesn't look bad looks okay. So I would say if you want to try it on over dyes and you've got some big like, creases in here, um, I would try it on a very, like an outer portion, just a little small portion to see how it does and then carefully work your way in and do it that way or do it on all the edges first and then carefully work your way in. If it makes you nervous to put water on your over dyed because I know with over dyed, you know, you don't wash that, but you know, we're using just water. We're not using any kind of detergent, soap, vinegar, nothing. It's just plain water. So should be okay. And it looks like it works for our purposes. Now, Ada, Ada is horrible to try to get these permanent. These are, you know, feel like they're permanent creases because they're from the manufacturer, the people who have made the fabric and of course, you're going to have a lot better luck with your even weave, your linen. So that'll be a lot easier to get out. But just so, you know, we know now that if we just use water and then we use, I use a cotton setting on my iron and then just spray it directly on the crease, just a concentration of water there, put your iron over it. And then I would hold my iron in the different places and um, it should be, you know, out, you should get enough of the crease out where you're not going to notice it when you're stitching. There might be a tiny little faint bit left in the Ada, but otherwise it should be okay. So I hope this has helped you. I, um, I hope that you are now able to get some of these creases out. If you were frustrated before, hopefully this will get rid of your frustration.